Today's scripture reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 14 through 32. I am reading from the Inclusive Bible, so it may sound a bit different from the version you have in front of you. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so the Chosen One must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in the Chosen One might have eternal life. Yes, God so loved the world as to give the only begotten one that whoever believes may not die but have eternal life. God sent the only begotten into the world not to condemn the world, but that through the only begotten the world might be saved. Whoever believes in the only begotten avoids judgment, but whoever doesn't believe is judged already for not believing in the name of the only begotten of God. On these grounds is a sentence pronounced, that though the light came into the world, people showed they preferred darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. Indeed, people who do wrong hate the light and avoid it, for fear their actions will be exposed. But people who live by the truth come out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what they do is done in God. After this, Jesus and the disciples went into Judea. Jesus spent some time with them there and performed baptisms. John also was baptizing, and people were constantly coming to be baptized. This was, of course, before John had been put in prison. A controversy about purification arose between some of John's disciples and a certain temple authority. They came to John and said, Rabbi, that person who was with you across the Jordan the one about whom you've been testifying is baptizing now, and everyone is going to him. John replied, None can lay claim to anything unless it is given to them from heaven. You yourselves are witnesses to the fact that I said, I am not the Messiah. I am the Messiah's forerunner. The bride and the groom are for each other. The bridal party just waits there, listening for them, and is overjoyed to hear their voices. This is my joy, and it is complete. Now the Messiah must increase, and I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks of earthly things. The one who comes from above testifies about things seen and heard above, yet no one accepts his testimony. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.